All right, guys. So I'm going to make this one quick. I'm going to try this in five minutes or less. Um, I know that I made a video about politics and not being involved, but this isn't really about politics. Biden just had his COVID relief plan, his pandemic getting over it thing. Now, that's all fine and dandy, but here's the key takeaway. And I've been saying this since the beginning. All we hear about is science, science, science. Biden is supposed to be a Catholic. Now, my views on Catholicism and Christianity in itself put aside, let's go by what they say. Biden is supposed to be a Catholic. So his plan should include God being in it. His plan should be based on God's will and him tailoring something, acknowledging that this pandemic is even here because God's allowing it or it was sent. Now, here's my point. Like, whenever there was a pandemic in the Bible, okay, and there were quite a few, whenever something went wrong in the Bible, like when David did the census count and he wasn't supposed to and the destroyer came, the only way it stopped was David got in front of him and pleaded that, you know, he was wrong and stuff, okay? Um, when Pharaoh wouldn't listen and set God's people free, Moses would warn him. Pharaoh would say, okay, well, they can go. And then he'd change his mind, and God would send another plague. There were ten plagues because of it. Now, that was set for an example, and Pharaoh wasn't, you know, a, a child of God. God was using him. But the fact of the matter is, the only way they ended was after somebody acknowledged God. Pharaoh finally let the Israelites go. Now he chased them down and he, him and his army got wiped out. But the point is, the plagues didn't stop on Egypt until after he let the Israelites go. Okay? Um, and the only way, reason he did that was because the firstborn child in every household, animal, and everything else died. My whole point behind it is you can go through the Bible. Anytime there was a plague, anytime there was a famine, anytime God shut up the heavens where there was no rain, the only way that it happened that it would, that it would end was that they had to acknowledge God. When the heavens were shut up for three years and there was no rain, Ahab and Jezebel would not turn. And Ahab said he'd follow God, and then he didn't. Elijah had to go and, you know, do the altar. Uh, and the priests of Baal were there dancing all day. And Elijah even, you know, kind of mocked him like, oh, maybe he's on vacation. Maybe he fell asleep. You know, your God isn't alert 24-7. Um, you know, some God you have. And then God, as soon as Elijah was done, God sent the ball of fire down and consume the water, the stones, everything. So my point being, these things don't end by science. These things don't end because we come up with a plan. And neither leader that is trying to be our president has a plan that is based on God. Trump, who is using Christianity for his own purposes and is not a child of God and is not a true Christian, is not even bringing God into the subject. And when Joe Biden does, he brings God into it. He uses Bible verses, but he still doesn't acknowledge that everything happens because God allows it or, or sends it or whatever. And that the only way out of it is for us to repent for our, from our sin and to turn to God and acknowledge that, you know, he's the only one that's going to stop this. They're all basing it on science, man-made things man's conventional wisdom now here's two more things and i'm going to end this number one um yes it may pass and and you're going to turn around and be like oh we'll see you know it may pass but god's still in control he's allowing it for his reason we still need to turn to him but with that being said okay um there's going to be judgments and there's going to be plagues coming. Revelation says it. And these people are the ones that are thinking that they can overdo it and, you know, overrule God. And God's going to show them who has the upper hand and that they have no power. But anyway, my point is that this isn't going to end until God wants it to end. It doesn't matter what man wants. It doesn't matter 
you know, what we say. It's in God's hands. And I'm tired of hearing that. And I just wanted to point out that neither Christian candidate is actually doing God's will and what God wants and acknowledging him and stuff like that um, to be the one in control of it. And they believe that medicine will take care of it. They believe science will take care of it. They believe this. They believe that. And it's not going to matter. So with that, I love you. If you don't know who our Lord and Savior is, um, he is the... Word of God came in the flesh, born of a virgin to die and atone for our sins, rose again on the third day so we can be resurrected with him. And that's the whole point behind it. It's not our lives anymore, it's his. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. And this is going to blow a lot of you, but we never were a Christian nation. We were never founded as a Christian nation. Our, found, our founding fathers founded this country on freedom of religion. If they founded it on Christianity, there would be no freedom of religion. They would have founded it on Christianity. But they didn't. Even if they claimed to be Christian leaders, they might have been doing, God might have been using them like he used Pharaoh, but, you know, they would still have to be doing his will. And politics is not a Christian trait or anything else. But anyway, on that note, I just wanted to tell you that individuals need to turn to God, but we will never be a Christian nation. We never were. And that would be the only way to get out of this pandemic is for the whole country to turn around. And it's not going to. Individual people need to, but God's just going to keep sending judgments and plagues. So you need to get your own heart right and worry about those around you. No way, shape, or form are all these leaders of the government going to be able to miraculously turn all this stuff around. Um, only God can do it when he wants to for whatever purpose he decides to end this. Love yous. Talk to you later.